Should you be pinning other people's content to your Pinterest business account? Keep watching to find out. Hey guys, Angie with AngieGinsler.com and I want to address a really popular question that I get quite often and that is, should I be pinning other people's content to my Pinterest business account? And the answer is yes. Now, before you move on to the next video, let me explain this in more detail because there's a lot more that you need to know as far as the how when you're pinning other people's content. Now, before I jump into this, I wanna remind you to download my free Pinterest marketing checklist. You can grab it over at angieginsler.com slash checklist, and it will provide you with 37 brilliant Pinterest marketing tips to help you grow your business. Okay, so let's talk about pinning other people's content to your Pinterest business account. Now, first of all, the ultimate goal when you are on Pinterest for business is of course to get people to your content, to drive traffic to your website, to generate sales. Otherwise, what's the point? So that's where a lot of people get this confusion because a lot of Pinterest marketing experts say that you need to pin other people's content and they even go to the extreme of saying that you need to pin 80% of other people's content and 20% of your own content. Now, this is a piece of advice that I 100% disagree with because the ultimate goal again is to get traffic to you, to your website, to your content. So if 80% of your activity is for other people, well, crap, it's kind of a waste of your time, right? Like you are not sending people back to your website, back to your content. You may be providing a lot of value to your followers, which is great, but you know, Pinterest, there's just a small piece that's this social aspect of it. So you really need to be focused on activity that's driving people to your website. Now, there is an element that you do need to be pinning other people's content. So don't go to the extreme and say, okay, I just wanna bring people to my website, so I'm only gonna pin my stuff and nothing but my stuff. That is a mistake because you want to be implementing two really crucial strategies, and that is participating on Pinterest group boards and participating in Tailwind tribes. Now, both of those are part of my traffic trifecta strategies that I teach in my online course, Pinterest Marketing Pro. So if you are interested in learning those strategies in detail, make sure you check out my course. I've got a link down below so you can check it out. But with group boards and with tribes, there's an element of kind of this reciprocity and sharing other people's content. So let me take you over to Pinterest and show you what I mean. So this is a group board that I am a part of, and you can see here within the board description, they have a board rule. For every pin from your own blog, please repin or comment on another pin on the board. Now this is a really common rule. Most group boards, have this rule of a one to one pin ratio. Some of, even, some of them even go to the extreme of a three to one, meaning for every pin that you add to the board, you have to pin out three pins from that board. But kind of the unspoken rule on all group boards is this one to one pin ratio. So I actually recommend 50-50 ratio. So where some people, as I mentioned earlier, recommend this 80-20 split, I recommend a 50-50 split. So 50% of the pins that you are pinning every day from your account need to be your own content. And then 50% need to be other people's content. Because if you're going to be a good group board member and really implement the group board strategy to grow your following, to grow your traffic, your account, the traction that you're getting from your content, you need to be a good member and sharing from those boards. Now, there's a lot more into this as to why you need to be a good group board member. There's a lot more details and how the algorithm works, how Pinterest shows content from boards, how they rank group boards. I'm not gonna go into that into this video. If you wanna know more about that, take one of my courses. But just trust me that you want to be a good group board member because that helps the group perform better overall as a whole, and it's gonna help your pins in the long run. Now let's jump over to Tailwind Tribes. This is my own tribe, and I wanna show you one of my rules in here 
is please share at least one pin for each pin you add to the tribe. Now with tribes, this is very common rule as well. Almost every tribe I'm a part of has that one to one share ratio. The same as group boards. But the difference with tribes is that you can actually track it. Tribes gives you the analytics to see. So I hope I'm not calling anybody out here, but we'll, we'll go to this one because she has a good ratio. So ladies make money online. She has a great share ratio. So she submitted 202 items and has shared out 212 items. Now I can see this. Look at Miranda. Woo, thank you, Miranda. You are killing it. Love her. Okay, but let me scroll down and I apologize to whoever I <laughs> land on. Um, you, I'm gonna see here a bright red. Now I keep my this tribe really cleaned up. So that's why it's taken me a while to find someone in the red. Um, so this person has submitted 14 items and they've only shared three. So check this out. I can kick them out if I want, just like boom, with the click of a button. Now I go into more detail. I see their submissions. I see how long they've been in the tribe. And, and sometimes if I want to, I can send them a message and remind them. But the point is, is that if you are implementing good growth strategies, so you're using group boards, you're using tribes to really grow your following, which is, and grow your traffic, which is so crucial. That's how you're going to get more traffic is using group boards and tribes. Then you need to have that one to one share ratio, which means you need to be sharing other people's pins and you need to be adding other people's content on to your Pinterest account, onto your boards that you are a part of. Okay, so I hope this answered your question. Yes, you need to be pinning other people's content, and I recommend a 50-50 share ratio of your content, other people's content, okay? If you found this video helpful, make sure you comment down below. Let me know, like the video so that it lets YouTube know to show it to more people so I can just expand the reach and help as many people as possible market their business on Pinterest. And again, make sure that you head over to angiegensler.com slash checklist to download that free Pinterest marketing checklist I have for you with 37 tips that you can use to grow your business using Pinterest. And then finally, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified every time I publish a new video. As I mentioned, I've got those two other traffic strategies, group boards and tribes. Well, I'm going to be creating a video later in this Pinterest marketing tips series. So make sure you're subscribed so that you get notified once I publish those videos about group boards and about tribes. Okay. Well, that's all I have for you today. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.